Euring and the Open OCD integration experiment. This is the STM32F401 CPU, and I'm trying two methods to uh, use the Open OCD. One is JTAG method, which has the ground pin here, power pin here, and then the uh, one is the TMS, and one is TCK, and the TDI TDO is on here. First, let's take a look at the uh, Ulink NT config, JTAG config. Here is the transport select JTAG and with the Ulink VID PID. And the other one is SWD. So to run the uh, OpenOCD, uh, we use the command line uh, OpenOCD-F interface Ulink NT JTAG.CFG-F target STM. 32f4x.cfg. So currently I'm connecting the Ulink NT to the board with the JTAG connection, which is TDI TDO connected individually. So once we run it here, oh, first we need to plug in the USB and then we can start it. And once go here, now we can go to the ID here. In the ID, in the property here, we can see the run debug property setting and we can select and show you the, how this work. So in the debugger here, uh, you need to select connect to remote GDB server instead of using uh, auto start local GDB server. And the host name will be local host if you're running the GDB on the local machine, otherwise it will be IP address uh, of the remote machine. I found the local machine is, is local is faster and port is 3333. Uh, if you select the open OCD, you need to select here. So, and we can apply and close. This is the program, a very simple one. It's the blinking LED. And we want, to, if we want to debug it, we can go here and then start debug. And you can see this will download and stop here. In the meantime, we can see our uh, open OCD window here. So I'm going to minimize here, go and side by side. So here I'm going to single step over. Uh, it won't show anything, but let's stop it and terminate and then restart, rerun it, debug. You can see the connection connect to it and then you can issue the the gdb command to it so this is um example of using the jtag now i'm going to switch to the swd mode so i'm going to stop here and break here getting canty here uh has four pin uh five uh four pings five pins, okay, power, ground, and then TDI, TDO, and the clock. Now TDI, TDO connect to here with a, with a resistor. Uh, I use a 21K, which is about 500, 500 ohms resistor, and both output to a one pin to here, to, to the uh, DIO, SWO, and that, the other, the, purp, uh, the blue one here is the clock, go here. So I'm going to show how to use this on the OpenWT with the STM32 uh, IDE. The SWD, which by the way, we can see here, the, it's the same, but the select is SWD. So let's go here and so same thing here, we start it and then let's go to the IDE here and we do not need to switch anything. You just say, I want to debug and same, it will debug here and we can do stuff like ghost here, here, step in or step out and go here. And this is, you know, de delay two seconds. So each two seconds, the LED on and off, very simple one. But it's just to test uh, if Ulink NT is capable of doing the uh, 
the open OCD integration and it shows it can be done.